No, I don't have 62 IQ, man. 62 IQ is retarded. What's my IQ? It's like it's like 62 or some shit like that. I had, you know, the, the pleasure of having 62 IQ. Portugal's in South America, homie. Portugal's in Europe? What's in South America? All right, ban Raiden Ritari. Consequences have actions, pimp. Wings, have you ever gotten a passport? Uh, not yet, no. I gotta get one. Let me, let me explain how the process out of wall works. No, you getting go, a passport's go. easy. Uh -huh. To, like, go to Chicago. You don't need a passport to go to Chicago. <laughs> Why don't you? you oh, my God. Anywhere, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. You gotta understand, I've this never really left great. South Carolina. Okay, okay, uh, let me help you here. And they take a passport photo of you. Hold up, hold up. Somebody banned that kid that called me an absolute moron. Okay. Who's uh, doing that? Oh. Uh. All right. Rapid fire dabs. What, what does that look like? Is that like... Are you gonna do it? <laughs> God, I feel like a retard. Like I'm rolling a fucking boulder like this. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> if I shit myself on stream and I accidentally record it, right? Like like say I fart and my, I shit myself, and then you put it up and highlight that I shit myself, that's cyberbullying. Just because you're overweight doesn't mean you're bad health. Like I was in perfect health at almost 500 pounds. Other than being massively overweight. I knew, I knew stream. I knew, I knew I couldn't come to you guys and actually talk about this and as reasonable people. Like you guys have like the assholes of like children sometimes. If somebody could please like get me their information, like maybe like um I forgot what that shit's called. Like uh, if if somebody could get me like their information, like their name, their address, the number, how I can get in contact with these guys, I would really like to know because like I'm seriously considering um suing them because at this point they're going to follow me around when I stream and they're affecting my business at this point well, first off I can barely walk so exercising is out the, out the thing and exercising isn't going to do shit and you're a fucking idiot if you think so real talk like I'm a 450 pound man dude do you think you think walking for a couple hours is going to do anything for me all it's going to do is make me sore and hungry that's all that's going to do my problem lies 100% in my dietary intake. It's big. I mean, like, to give you an idea how big that motherfucker is, this is my gut, which we all know is ginormous, and this is the PS5. Ugh. How much was it? $900. The only thing I really have nightmares about is work. Not like this, but like the steel mill. Like, I dream... I have dreams every now and then where, like, I, I get up and go to work at the steel mill over and over and over again. I think that's what the, I think that's I think that's a version of PTSD, right? Pooping is a form of weight loss. Good question, David. It's one I've thought about myself. Like, same thing with like you going number one instead of number two, like. How much weight do you lose by emptying your bowel? It, it, it has to be. I mean, like, if you haven't done it in a while, you probably can get a good pound out of it. How much money do I reckon I spent on Shaleen? About $80,000. Easy explore. Easily $80,000. $80, bought a Tahoe, put her kids in dance, softball, bought them school clothes twice, uh, restaurants. I had to put gas in her car every time she wanted it. Bought her vacuums. All kinds of shit. Shaleen was probably my most biggest financial mistake I ever made. Here, here's the thing, right? Like, I don't look at that $80,000 like, fuck, I wish I had $80,000. I, I don't look at that like I lost $80,000. I look at it as like, that $80,000 saved me so much money in the long run. Working isn't slavery. Being being held to your job based on your health care is a form of slavery. Like, you, you're shackled to that place. This is what you have to do to live. I got a question. What's half a 17? Dog, Antifa doesn't actually exist. I want you to know this. Antiva is completely made up. There is no such thing as Antiva. That is 100% of straw man propaganda made up to make people fearful of things. Here's the problem I'd see with that podcast. One, I feel like Boogie is an alpha talker. Like, Boogie always pushes his point across before everybody else, and I feel like he would talk over a lot of people because of that simple fact. Um, two, I feel like, um, like a lot of us, like, 
I would be way too edgy for like Boogie to want to alpha talk. For example, like I'm obviously independent liberal, leaning way more towards the Democratic side, whereas Boogie is more of a fence sitter, and he would not want to engage in conversations or like push a point across because it would take him off the neutral like positioning in life to keep his fan base up. Um, and, and DSP would be on the other end of that spectrum where DSP would feel like people actively would use things against him. That if we were to talk about something like that. And like, like look at examples right now. People going back and taking things I said on like PKA from like 10 years ago. And trying to use it against me. And trying to, and tr trying to like... Now, there's people like literally trying to take something I said on PK and get me banned on Twitch with it. And I, I like I think I don't know if these guys are idiots or they don't understand what PK is. PK has always been a satirical shock jock podcast. It was designed to be shocking, entertaining, and funny, right? And that's what that's what PK was, and like I was a main component of it early on to be that shocking component of it itself. Like even so much more Kyle, like Kyle used to lie all the time on PK. Why do you think Kyle's so much more tame nowadays? I can tell you why I'm predicting the future on the Hyperloop because it it doesn't make sense on a physics level or a security level. A Hyperloop taking it down to a to a complete vacuum like in space, where there's no wind resistance whatsoever. And then if something would happen, let's not even say it's a terror sack, let's say neglect happens. Like they, they a, a piece of the tunnel somewhere in the 300 mile track gets a pinhole in it. Well that pinhole is going to have all the atmosphere rush into the tube and it's going to create negative pressure and it's going to end up, what it's going to do is going to take the, the, the tube that you're in, the cart, and it's going to sling it as hard as it can in the opposite direction. So you're going to die within like eight seconds of that whole forming. If you think I could hold a job down, you're kidding yourself. I'm going I'm to put it out there straight. The reason I don't get a job is I can't hold one down. I've been my own boss for ten years. I can barely hold a sleep schedule down. I just woke up at 3.37 in the morning and I'm streaming because of anxiety. As it sits right now, I don't own this house. Right, I'm paying for it. I've been paying for it for 11, almost 12 years now. My mother's had two heart attacks, and it's in her name, and she's married. If she was to, die, if she would were to die on those two heart attacks, her husband could have took this house from me, almost paid for, and there's nothing I could have done about it. And like, I don't want to go to my mother and give her this problem right now, but I don't want to put it off and be like. I don't think it's fair that I, I'm sitting in this situation, but I know if I don't do something to keep my mind busy, I'm I'm gonna just break down and cry or some shit. Fuck you! Boy. Fuck you! Can I crack that? I'm working. You want in here? No. No. I didn't need that right now. Uh, she brought me a bowl of soup. I'll eat it eventually. All right, run it again. I don't like eating on stream though. Because people make fun of me. It's just, it's just, it's just depressing. Like I don't, I don't, I'm trying to be mean, but like, I don't want to eat while I'm streaming, and she knows this. Because people make fun of me, and now I'm gonna get made fun of because I told her to not do, to, but basically like why? I don't know. I just wish my life was simpler. I'm not eating hunger right now. <sighs> they're projecting. So you're everything they want to be in life, and they're like 23, living with their mama. So I think it's pretty obvious the type of woman I like. I like a mature woman 
that can eat a hamburger. And I bought a 2006 Triton with a 90 Optimax 17 foot aluminum boat. I sold the rifle early on, and then right there toward the very end, Machinima was about to start paying us, so I ended up selling the boat. I bought the boat for like nineteen thousand dollars. I ended up selling it for ten. I got ten thousand dollars back on that, and I use that ten thousand dollars to keep me afloat until Machinima paychecks start coming in. Yeah, dude, I was like twenty-two. I was twenty-two. I had like fucking eighty thousand dollars in a four hundred one k. I had like forty grand in a checking account because. I had all this money saved up because I worked so fucking much and I made, I was making really good money. I was making 26 plus an hour in, in South Carolina and, and like I was making all this fucking money and like I had no time to spend it. So like I bought things I fucking wanted at the time when I was 22. It was a dumb, it was a dumb move, but I make spectacular dumb moves all the fucking time. But you know what? I'm still at the point where I'm 34, my house is paid for, my land's paid for. The only debt I have is a, is, is a vehicle, which is something I choose to have debt on. All the Tesla Hyperloop shit, the Tesla shit in Las Vegas, all of it's a is a fucking pile of dog shit. What what Elon Musk is really good at doing is convincing rich people that he knows what he's doing, that don't actually look into his content. I didn't say I, I said Tesla is a failure. I know about cars. The dude created a privatized space program. Donald Trump became president. You think you know what he was doing too, right? Now look at... You gotta realize, the world you live in is the good old boy system. There's so many people you'll meet in your life that have jobs they have no qualifications for. They have jobs that, that, that their uncle sticks, the, sticks them in because they can't fuck it up. Tesla made PayPal. I mean, Elon Musk made PayPal. Through PayPal, he made Tesla. Through Tesla, he got a lot of other investors to push into Tesla. Using investor money, he created things like SpaceX, The Boring Company, and other places like that, which all have revolutionary ideas don't work. Just like the Hyperloop, it don't work. SpaceX was supposed to be landing spaceships on Mars last year. They haven't even mastered landing yet. SpaceX probably will never work. The whole landing and reusing of rockets. Great idea. Hard to pull off. Tesla is selling record number of cars at a loss. At a loss. SpaceX just had a rocket blow up last month. Why well, I'm not a billionaire already? It takes money to make money, dog. We better get back because it takes be money to make money. See, this is the problem I don't want to talk about. It's like, where's your sources, dog? I didn't come here prepared with sources and other things like that. You know, what I did. I came. I woke up. I did some stuff for the wife. I jumped on to play Dark Souls. This is a Dark Souls stream. Like if you want, if you want a fucking presentation, go look yourself up. You can very easily take the information I'm giving you, look it up your fucking self. I promise you, it works. Don't ask me about don't don't ask me like why do I feel like Elon Musk is a failure, and I give you the answer to why I feel like Elon Musk is a failure, and then ask me for fucking sources. Like honestly. I can go find you sources. I can. I didn't pick this. I didn't pick this information up off the top, off the middle of, of, of the air, dog. 